the truth okay. about a riveted boat versus a welded boat and why people think that aluminum boats that are riveted aren't great. Mm -hmm. Like there's been a lot of people that have told me I would never use an aluminum boat in big waves. Dad was working for Lumacraft and you just retired there after how long? I've retired after 26 years. Okay. Uh, my dad was with them for 28 years before that. So you might know something about aluminum boats. I've been around Maybe. a little bit. Yeah. A little bit. All of the airplanes, the fighter airplanes, the F-15s and F-16s I worked on are all riveted. Hey everybody, I'm Captain Peterson. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here and you believe in continuous improvement, you love outdoor adventures with your friends and you like cool gear, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. We have many more boat show videos to come. I'm here at the Minneapolis 2022 Boat Show. I'm here with Jim. He is a uh, diehard aluminum boat man. Lumacraft's been a big part of my life and my family okay. you know, for, for a great number of years. So, now, I know you want to talk about the a truth, riveted. Yeah, the truth okay. about a riveted boat versus a welded boat growing up in Minnesota and fishing on Lake Mille Lacs and uh, you know, going up to, to Duluth and all that. Like tons of people have boats and they go off and stuff that was probably just as tough as the stuff I went off on the Gulf when I was a charter captain on the Gulf. So tell us about why people think that the riveted uh, is not as good as the welded yeah. and a little bit more about that. You know, I think just in the, 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 the term welded, right? A lot of people think welded is boom, that's just it, right? And welding is, is a wonderful way of joining metals, yeah, right? for sure. In a lot of different instances. In fact, over the years, we've made a welded boat. It's been in our bass boat stuff, mainly sold down in the southern waters. And they work just great, you know? They're, they're, they're just not uh, being used in the same manner that we use our walleye boats up in this part of the right? Yeah. And us, the Lumacraft, We've been building boats for over 75 years. Mm -hmm. And we're a riveted boat company, especially for the, the walleye fishermen. Yep. And it's for, for I have good one myself. Tell me what you think of my new fishing machine in the comments below. About to take some kids fishing with some police in Minneapolis and some veterans maybe too. Should be a good deal. Catch you on the flip side. Uh, my experience over all these years is, is riveted is the strongest way to join the metal for a boat and it's its application. And no different than you'll see uh, tractor trailers on that interstate, right? Yep. Those are riveted, right? Yeah, the, the whole the thing that holds all the stuff. Yep. yep. Okay, and, and here's the reason why. Um, first of all, I do want to explain that riveted is more expensive. Yep. Because every time I've got a rivet, i got two people that are employed for every rivet that's in that boat. we got one okay. guy pond and one guy bucking, right? Yep. Or if welding, it is a lot less expensive. i got one man. I can run a bead of well, and obviously labor costs are a lot less expensive. Yep. But now let's get on real world conditions, right? So now we're on, let's say, one of the goshes, right? Yep. And we got like uh, the woods or anywhere. Yeah. 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 And we got a good chop going. And let's just say it's even just a one foot chop, yep. right? Now we're going across the lake and we're going boom, 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 boom. Mm -hmm. And that boat is uh, all that energy, right, from those concussions has to go someplace, right? right? So what a riveted boat does is it allows you to wick that energy through the rivets, yep. right? So now that energy is getting evenly uh, dispersed throughout the hull, throughout the hull, instead of right where the weld point is, except for the yeah. weld point. And so what happens now uh, in a welded boat? It's a real rigid structure, mm -hmm. and we're going across the one-foot chop, boom, 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 and that energy is still there; it has to go someplace. And when we weld, obviously we change the strength of the metal next to the weld is not as strong as the weld itself, right? Yep. We've changed that. And that energy has to go someplace, so right, it'll, it'll flex. Mm -hmm. Not unlike when you take a pop can, yep. okay? And it'll flex, and it'll flex, and it'll flex, and it'll flex. Okay. And it may crack, okay? Um, on a riveted bolt, if you're running across and, and a rivet gets loose, let's say you hit it on a rock or something like that, we can replace the rivet. One rivet. Just one rivet. Instead of having to do the whole. Yeah, and, and if you have a weld that, that cracks, okay, mm -hmm. if you have a bolt, a welded bolt that cracks, mm -hmm. you pay for it in a lot of different ways in my mind, right? Chances are you're paying for it in a lost day of fishing. Yep. You're gonna pay for it when you have to get the bolt repaired, okay? And then you're also gonna pay for it again when you go to trade that boat in because you're gonna have a scar on that boat and you're just gonna to have to discount that boat because it's not as attractive 100%. as a boat that didn't have that scar. Now putting a, a couple of rivets in, 
is a lot cheaper than doing all that. And it's and it's going to look like and that. it's invisible, yeah. right? Now now you're back to to where you start. And so just think of that tractor trailer going across the country 20, 30 different times, putting on millions of miles going over those expansion joints. Mm -hmm. And that's the same reason why those tractor trailers are coming. Yep. Because and they're more expensive. They take rivets. It takes two men to, to buck those rivets. Uh, but again, it just holds that metal together. Skyscrapers, right? Mm -hmm. um, they're riveted. They're riveted. Yeah. And there's a reason. You know, you get a skyscraper and there's so much movement in there. So great, Airplane wings. So I was just going to tell you, I was in the Air Force seven and a half years. I worked on bombs and missiles, worked on all the systems for all the, the weapon systems. And uh, all of the airplanes, the fighter airplanes, the F-15s and F-16s I worked on are all riveted. If welding was better, don't you think that airplanes would be welded? No, because there's so much vibration, they need to be able to have that expansion and traction. The other thing people don't think about is heat. Like when a hole is really cold, like if you take this thing out and open it, might, I've been out and open it's like 28 degrees up in, in Barrett's and stuff, you know? Like in the summertime, it's going to get bigger. So uh, I, I would think that that helps with that also. Oh, no question about it. And, and I don't want to scare you, right? You buy a welded boat. Yeah, and there's you can some fine welded boats. No so question great, about you know? it. And, and if your boat does crack, you're not sinking, you're not dying. You know, the boats, you're going to get in or you're going to be yeah. fine. It's just those nuisances that we talked about. Yeah, so I think maybe where the welded boat phenomena came on and people wanted welded boats is like John boats. Like, they're going through the rivers. They don't have this pounding, but they take a John boat that's riveted and maybe not the best quality and they go and try and take it out on the bay down in florida or something and their rivets all fall out well that boat wasn't it's flat bottom so it's going to belly flop like crazy it's not a deep d like the stuff we run up here so like i think that's where aluminum boats got a bad name that are riveted and yeah. i really truly believe that's unfortunate yeah. oh no question about it yeah. and of course when you look at just the construction so a riveted john boat is gussets yeah. you know we're now obviously you get into a, a aluminum uh, walleye boat for deep water where, where cross frames were longitudinals where you do have some gusses we have keels and sister keels there's so much more construction okay and, and structure to that boat yeah. that that uh, is designed to, to take that kind of use and stuff so. yeah. well thank you for sharing all that with us you know i learned a lot about the difference between uh, aluminum boat and riveted boat and uh, i think more guys are starting to, to understand that uh, your, your daddy's John boat ain't what these are. Um, hopefully, people down in Florida that want some other boats to see these videos and stop hating on my aluminum boats that I love. Uh, but if you guys like this video, let me know in the comments below. If we forgot anything or we said something stupid, let us know too. Uh, if you believe in continuous improvement, you love outdoor adventures with your friends, and you like cool gear, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. We have many more boat show videos to come, guys, and I'll catch you on the flip side.